Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Hello everybody. Uh, we're going to craft the cutest things. It's, well, there's summer stuff. It's summer stuff. Let me fix my chair. I always do that. I always get myself situated and I'm like, oh, not situated. I'll pull it up on Facebook. Uh, we are going to use markers tonight too uh, for this one. Uh, actually, there's two. There's two. We might use some paint as well. I'll have to pull that up out the laundry room. I'll have to probably go pick some shades. Um, let's see. I'm late. That's new. I was fully prepared to be here earlier. <laughs> I was fully prepared. And then I was watching television. <laughs> Does anyone else go down the rabbit trail? Or get lost, like, in the rabbit hole. It's not even the rabbit trail. It's like a rabbit hole. Oh, my gosh. So, um, our, I'm not in the app. I'm not in the app tonight. Um, I have to have my computer, and I left it at work. I left my computer at work. I needed to, I needed, I needed it for, um, because I had files on there, and I was like, well, I don't really want to send the files I didn't want to put them in the drive. So I was like, oh, I'll just take my computer with me to work. And then I left it sitting at work. So usually my laptop stays here. I don't usually take it to the warehouse, but I, I did take it there this morning. And then I forgot it. Uh, so we're doing so, uh, two super cute projects. The little ice cream stand and the ice cream gnome. They're just so fun. And I wanted to do this... Um, I think they'll be really cute. And I think they'll be really cute on my tear tray. Right now, the beach huts are on there, but I, I feel like, man, I want to put the beach hut somewhere else. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So let me tell you a funny story. It's I am funny. It's just really awesome. Uh, so I don't know if you guys knew this, but on the shop app, which I have, my shop is on the shop app. I don't know if we are a part of the uh, shop cash. I have to look and see if it's like a setting I have to turn on. But you, basically, you earn money on the shop app when you shop. And then you get to like spend that money. And so I had earned like, I think it was like almost $100 on the shop app. So I was like getting emails from Shopify that your your stuff's gonna expire like you better go spend your shop cash okay so i was like scrolling along scrolling along i was like well where do i want to spend my it was like 98 dollars or something and um stanley 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 uh popped up so i got me three completely free well not listen it's not free right? Let's be real. It's not free. Rewards are not free. Um, Shopify covers the shop cash and um, then you get to spend it on stores that partner with them or whatever. But anyways, so I got to use my $95 or $98 uh, in the Stanley store. Stanley store. So um, if you did not know this, <laughs> Stanley's in the shop app. Oh my gosh. You're crafting with me tonight? I love it. You're doing the Daisy slot insert. I'm so excited for you. So I got um, three Stanleys with my shop cash. I was very excited about that. So I got this blue one. I got this blue one. I do love my swig cups. I, I am a little bit of a sucker for the swig cups just because they're really fun, cute patterns and I like them and I don't, they're just really cute. They have really cute patterns. I could probably laser the Stanley and do a design on it, but, but I probably won't. Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome on in. Hello night owl friends. What's up, Kathy? Hello, Bonnie. Bonnie is here from Cub Gob Gobless, Michigan. You wish you had one? Brenda, download the shop app. Okay, download the shop app. 
download the shop app. Let me go see. I'm going to do some investigation really quick. Hold on just one second. Hold on just one second. Um, shop app. I'm going to go to the app store. I just want to see if my store's on there. Oh, you're creeping along in here? What's wrong? Oh, you did you not eat dinner? You should eat dinner. Let's see. The shop. Let's go see. There it is. I'm going to download it. Download it. It's only 7.30. Well, it is uh, 10.15 here. Let's get started. Let's get started. Continue. Continue. Oh, it sent me a code to my phone. Hold on. There it is. Hang on. All right, it's confirming. I just want to see. Follow your order every step of the way. I love it. Skip. Yeah, see, it says earn shop cash on your next order. Learn more. Well, hmm. Learn more. I don't know. Welcome to Shop Cash. Our one percent on eligible purchase made with Shop Pay. Plus, boost your balance with limited offers. Terms may apply. It doesn't say if my shop is lets you do shop. Like I don't know. I'll have to look in the internal settings and see. What a bummer. I don't know, I'll have to look into that. But because I used the shop app, I made a 1% savings. <laughs> oh gosh. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome on in. You're obsessed with tumblers and water bottles. Well, my son and my sister, so Dylan and April, both um, ordered the circle 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 and they really like it um I tried a couple of them I'm like oh it still kind of tastes like it's mm, got artificial sweetener in it I don't do artificial sweetener too much it doesn't I don't know I just don't like artificial sweetener but they got it Ooh, and they love it oh this is new it's new. It's mushrooms. I am on the shop app. I do have my shop on there, but it doesn't say that my shop is a part of the shop cash. So I'll have to look and see if there's an, a setting inside that, uh, like in my back end of my shop, that. Let me just go look and see. I wonder if I can see it on my iPad. Let's go to Shopify. I have a Shopify store. Um, let's go to settings. Settings. Maybe it's under shop. It's just a white screen. Wonder why. Oh, there it is. Okay, let me see. Oh gosh, I have two point five thousand followers on Shop App. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, what do I do? Customize. Mm, nope, that's not it.
settings. Hang on. Oh, bring it back, bring it back. There's a little drop down up here. Settings, okay, let me see. Oh, I don't, I don't think my shop qualifies, what? Bummer. Hang on. I don't think my shop payments. Let's see what happens under payments. It says it's not eligible. Well, that's a bummer. I always love that people can save, find ways to save. That's a bummer. I need to reach out to them and ask them why. I'm like, that's just ridiculous. Why would my shop not qualify? Or uh, it just says I'm not eligible. I don't know. It says I'm not eligible. I'm really sorry about that. You love the Oella app? Oella something. I don't know what that is. Owala, free sip, Owala. I have to look at that. Oh, Jody, wait a second. Jody says, I received shop cash when I used Shopify to pay for my orders. Oh, it must not be, um, it must not be through the, um, it must not be something that's a setting of mine. It must be a shop, a Shopify pay, a shop pay. Not all of your items are listed on the shop app. Really? That's weird because everything should be synced. Marsha, I'm not on the app today. I left my um, computer at the warehouse, so I'm, I'm not on there tonight. Not tonight. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I put the link in the description for all the new summer stuff. No purchases required for you to hang out and visit with us or just to be inspired. Um, that's the nose. This is the ice cream. <laughs> the ice cream gnome. Uh, one nose that you can't, on the app is you can't comment on replays. Um. Probably not. I don't know. I know they're updating features all the time. I, I, I'm not really sure. Okay, so here's what we got. I should get my wax paper first. Got a cute little ice cream gnome. And it's, it's cute. It's a cutie. Um, I was finishing. Uh, I was listening to Emily Baker. I am, I'm a little bit behind. I am astounded 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 at the rust trial um with the chick and her like sentencing what how is that even a thing like how is that even a thing i don't even know Uh, Riley was very funny with her little baby doll. She is a hoot. That girl is a hoot. The rust trial. Oh, thank you. My shirt, if you can read it, says, <laughs> well-behaved women rarely make history. I know it's backwards for you guys, but it's what it says. All right, we're going to use a white... We're gonna wipe off 
some of this stuff. We are going to use markers sticker on her forehead. <laughs> it's the eyebrows. She's so serious and she's so... <laughs> I can't reach. The funny... Y'all, I could just watch that thing over and over and over. Um... I've, blo I've blocked a few people. I've blocked a few people. I'm like, you just clearly don't belong here. You are lost. Um, people with their opinions because they don't understand. They don't, they don't know. They don't know. That's the thing about a cold audience of people is that when they don't know you, they don't get it. But part of like sharing things like that is that people get to know you and your like family and people that are close to you like a little bit better. Sorry, there's a lot of flashback on this one. Um, must have come from one of the older machines, but I'm just gonna wipe it off. Um, is people don't, this is how you get to know people. But people are st still so super judgmental and they wanna give parenting advice. All the things like no one asked you <laughs> when asked um when avery said she could when avery comes around avery's like oh, i'll get it bugger i'll get it for you bugger and riley was like no not to my baby and then do you, if you notice in the video she it's like she it's like her hand maybe brushes it and almost touches it and it's like did my hand just touch the baby that I said I cannot reach? As she's completely bent over. And then Michelle's like, can you reach your toes? And then Michelle asks her like, you can't reach it. And then she squeezes the baby's head and then proceeds to like shift it. Michelle said she never picked up the baby. She never picked up the baby. She just left it there. She abandoned it. She's too funny. I watched that. Me and April watched it on, on like re repeat. Because it'll just keep recycle. It'll just keep replaying. Every time I watched it, I laughed even harder. I was just like, bless her heart. Bless her little heart. They are precious. Yeah, Avery was here today. She asked me if she could craft with me. And I told her no. She was very upset. She asked me why. And I told her. I said, well, the last time you and I crafted together, you stole my coffee beans. <laughs> you took my coffee beans. And you wouldn't give them to me. And you were not being a very good listener. And I asked you multiple times. And you still wouldn't listen. And then I had to get stern with you and ask you to like, you have, you, your crafting time was done. And she said, well, I'm really working on being a better listener. And I said, okay, are you? I said, we ask you not to run in the house. We ask you not to throw the ball in the house. We ask you to eat your dinner. Like, you know, your parents ask you a lot of things. Can you get your shoes on? I'm like, all of those are listening opportunities. And so she said she's going to work on it. She's going to work on being a better listener. It's the Rust trial. It's from the movie Rust. Let me look it up. I, I think her name was Hannah. It's the um, Alec Baldwin is also um, has a trial coming up too. If you go to Emily Baker... Emily D. Baker, if you go to Emily D. Baker, you can see, like, um, the trials that she's covering. Yeah. And then I have a little ice cream stand, too. This is really cute. Now, these are really great to be, like, on their own or with, you know, with something, you know. All right. So, you have your stand. There's two little bits to your stand here. And then um, if you want to just test, test place. Thank you for the stars. Uh, yes, um, Alec Baldwin. Uh, yeah, that is totally coming up. All right, so if you want to test your pieces before, please do so. Um, 
I will tell you, I will tell you, in the photo of this glued together, I did not glue this piece down first. That was, y'all, I was already in. I, I was already in. I was gluing things together. Did not do that. The glasses actually go on here so that you can then place the nose over the top of the glasses, like over the, like over the top. So it's like a great spacer. So that you want to add. So it's this piece right here that goes right there. I ended up not using that. <coughs> so what I did is I put, I. I glued it together and then I glued the nose on. And then I was like, oh, no. wait, 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 what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? And then I was like, oh, that goes there first. Oh, my bad. So I didn't do it. All right, you have a little um, shoes. Your little shoes. You have the spacers. So there's a little spacer that this hooks onto. So the little, I'll have to show you. That's where I wanted to do this one. So this goes on. It's not glued, so I'm struggling. Hang on. Does this one go here? This one, okay, this goes here, right? Yeah, for the spoon. This is a spacer for the spoon. And this is the spacer for what? How does that go? I think it goes. I think it's part of the bowl. How does that go? Which I don't know why it's just not already attached. Maybe I'll do that. So the shoes go on, this goes on, and then there's little ice creams. The little ice creams. This goes at the top. Just making sure I also have all of my pieces here. That one goes there, and then that one goes there, right? And then the hands, and then the cherry goes on there. Okay, I, I should have everything. Then the nose, hand, and hand. Spoon, super cute. Okay, there's also a tropical one. There's also a tropical guy. Hello, hello everyone. All right, so we're gonna do this one. Super duper cute. Gonna do it with colorful goodness. And I am using, like I said, we're gonna use markers for this. I might go get some paint. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna set these out in front of me and then um, probably set some in my chair. my sparkle pen. Some of you guys have the sparkle pens. This one says boss lady. Cute. Cute, cute. All right. If you don't have markers, you can use paint. There's, there's no rules. There's absolutely no rules, but I do want to scoot you guys back with this down just a little bit more. Hello, Carrie. How are you doing? Um, who else is here? Let's see. Pamela's here. Nancy is here. Happy Tuesday. How did the work on the shed go? It is anchored. Praise the Lord. It is um, attached to the ground with 10 anchors that are huge metal. They look like um, drill bits that have a spiral like thing and just anchors into the ground and they're like three foot. They're, they're huge. 
And then the metal strap goes over the, um, um, what are they called? The, skids, I guess. I, I don't really know what it's called, but there's like wood beams that go under that sits on the blocks. And so they run the metal over the inside of them and then they wrap it, they, they pull it through and then they wrap it back. So it like, um, holds it to the ground. I don't know. It also allows it not to shift off the bricks. There's there's a couple of different things that it does. Uh, April 20th will be two years since my mom passed and at the age of 94, she needed lots of help. It's not easy, but it'll be worth every minute. Oh gosh, I don't know if something happened. I don't know if something happened. How do you store all your crafts? I need some advice. Um, totes. I store all of them in um, totes. I get my totes when they are, usually they, okay, here's here's a tip for you. Lowe's and Home Depot usually do some sort of spring organization. Sometimes there's, um, they do container sales. And so I like to go and get clear containers that I can see in. And then I sort, I store all of my crafts in clear containers by season. So like right now, all of our Easter stuff has gone into an Easter like bin. So not only do all the crafts get stored, but all of the decorations get stored. And so like spring and Easter will probably be in the same con like container. And I usually get my uh, totes with, um, they're the bigger ones so that I can add to them and then I don't fill them up too fast. And then we stack them. We stack them and store them. Yeah, and then, um, so like spring and summer is usually together. Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day is usually together in the same tote. Um, winter has its own, Christmas obviously has its own. Uh, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and fall, they're all in the same container. And I just stack things and then some stuff gets carried over. Like right now, I'm not going to go get my Christmas totes, but my husband put a, put some of my everyday things in the Christmas because he was like, Oh, it was, it seemed Christmas. I'm like, it's not Christmas. And then, um, at work, when I take things to work, it's the same way. So all of the examples that I put together, they go on shelves and then those go into bins. But every single craft that I have um, pretty much ever crafted with the exception of when we did like an auction or I gave something away to someone, um, I have all of them stored at the warehouse. Will I probably use them? I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's like whatever I feel like, oh, I think I wanna use this one thing. Let me go figure out where the heck it is. Then I'll go find it and then I will, I'll use it. Like I have stuff that I've crafted that were, it was dollar store stuff. I love to, to decorate with all kinds of things. That's how you store your stuff too. Yeah. Um, but Dylan was telling me he has, he follows a lot of people on like TikTok and YouTube and they have, um, he like, we have craft rooms, but they have like fan art or they have fan rooms it's they're they're called fan rooms and what it is is anything that they're a fan of that they're a collector of it's like their shrine they have a whole room whether it's a basement a you know um, an attic space a spare bedroom that they literally just put on display all the things that they love all the things that they love uh, and I know some people have that. Some people, like, I try to teach people how to decorate with what you make. But some of you guys have a whole room that you just have shelves of just stuff you make on display. And you're just living your best life. Um, and then, you know, I don't know what you do with it after that. But not everybody has the space for that. And I, and I do know that. But I sure wish I could just, you know, walk into my, you know, in like a, instead of like a shoe closet. It's like a craft closet. It's just filled with all the things that we've made. 
on display. You could just go down memory lane. Like that would bring me joy. That would bring me such joy. I can guess how much you have in bins. Uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. I did get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, like home decor stuff that was from our house on Madison Oaks. Several years ago, probably in 2018, I think it was 2018, maybe it's 2017, I don't remember, it was 2018 I believe, I literally painted my kitchen cabinets at my house, I paint, repainted all of my walls, I changed out my entire decor, and stored a lot of stuff I had so much stuff and then all of the decor from the other house is still in my garage like I haven't put out near like none of the wall decor is on the walls none of it none of it anyways I'm just rambling talking sometimes I can't do both okay let me get me let me get myself started let me get myself started um let's do Let's do, bah, bah, bah. I feel like I want to do something pink. I feel like I want to do pink. Oh, goodness. Or purple. Pink or purple for, okay, we're, we're talking about like this part, this part up here where all the little confetti pieces go. So the main color will be, I'm, I'm deciding right now. This is going to be colorful. It's summery. I want it to be fun. There's also this one. I don't really know what the difference is. I feel like this is more of a blue. This is more purple. And we have this pink here. Mm. Let me swatch these and see which one I want to go with. Hello, Craftspirational. How's it going? Oh, that's really cute. I really like that purple. I just got all caught up. Time to order more. <laughs> Well, we have new ones. I, I'm working on new, um, some new ones. I know I just released new ones, but I really like this. There was about 15 different designs that I did not get cut, but the files are ready, so I started cutting those today. Two of them are door hangers, which are in my car right now. They're 15 inch door hangers. One's a watermelon slice. And then the other one is patriotic. And then there's some nine inch rounds that I didn't get to. And then some five inch. I only did like three, three, I think three of the five inch ones, but I had, a, I had some other five inch ones that I needed to do. Um, I think I want to do, I think I want to do the brighter, like the brighter pink. I think I want to do this one. I think I'm going to do this one. I just think it's going to make more sense. And I'm just going to coat, coat the whole thing. And I'm going to go over the um, little sprinkles. I'm going to do it. You love all the new stuff. I love all the new stuff too. Um, I did the sun, that um, flower in the field and I was calling it like a puzzle and Dylan was like, that looks more like a mosaic. And he was like, I see people on TikTok doing all this like glass art mosaic type of stuff and it kind of reminds me of that. I was like, it does. It really kind of reminds me of a mosaic. So, um... I still have to go in and re retitle them. Because when people are searching on Google and Pinterest, I want it to come up properly. All right, so this is 
our top and I'm just gonna go over it with random brush strokes just like so that's cute Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set this aside of the ones that I use. <coughs> All right, now I want to do the face. So the face, the face. I'm gonna see. Let's do this one. I think this color will work. What are we making? We're doing the ice cream gnome, the little ice cream gnome and the ice cream stand. These are really fun. These are little bitty minis. They're, I say they're little minis, but they're just smaller. They're great for like tear trays, shelf sitters. They're just really fun. Is this like a cream color? Probably should have rethought this. Go this way now. It's probably gonna dry a little darker. At least it looks like it is. So cute. So cute. I did get under the lines though. All right, so the body, this goes over the top of this. Let's do the body. Let's do the body. What color do I wanna do the body? So we've got pink hat. Let's do Let's do green. Let's do green. Let's do it. Let's do. I'm gonna do it. You only see a little bit of this. I told you I was gonna do colorful. Shoes are, go down there, so I'm not really too worried about that, but I do want to make sure that I get the sides. I think. Is that? Oh, that is just fun! Those are cute. It's, it's minty. You've been loving colorful? I think I've been loving colorful too. Me too. Um, I have to agree. I have to agree. Um, let's see. Let's do the nose. Ooh. Am I gonna make it? <laughs> I'm like, I gotta make it tonight. I'm gonna do the nose this color. It's gonna dry much darker. And let's do the hands. Let's go ahead and do the hands while we're here. Okay, other hand, there it is. I did the beard. But it doesn't really have to be a beard. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's whatever you whatever you interpret it to be. I am going to get some white. I'm going to get some white though. I'm just going to use what's in the lid. And I'm going to get me a scratchy. There it is. Scratchy brush. I'm 
Let's not do it over the green. Let's not do that. And I'll touch up the um, hat if I need to. Sometimes my paintbrush gets a little crazy. Goes where it wants. There we go. I feel like that's better. I just needed a little white. Just kind of like that. Cute. All right, so the nose goes on, the sunglasses go on top of that. <laughs> this is cute. Nose goes there. Okay, let's see. Um, we do the feet too. What color did I just do? Was it this one? No. I don't think it was this one. Let me double check this one. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe it was this one. No. I'm gonna do the back side. Oh, maybe it was. Okay, I think it was this one for the that I used for the the nose and the hands. We'll we'll find out when it dries. All right, hand, hand. Then we got our little ice cream. And we have a cherry. Let's go ahead and do our cherry. Let's do it. Um, let's not do it. Let's not do it. Even though it's a cherry, it's a. it could be a blueberry. I don't know what color we're going to go with. So I'm just going to hold off on it just for a second. Okay, let's do the shoes I'm looking for kind of like pastelly bright colors let's do the shoes that is too bold but that looks so fun let's do Let's do the shoes this color. They're little flip flops. They look kind of like sandals. I'm gonna go straight across. Oh, I was telling you guys a story and then I completely got distracted with something else. <laughs> so last night, I, I've been trying since I closed the Creative Haven to like not craft on Mondays. So I've been just trying lay low. But then but then I don't. And then I, I decide I'm going to. And then um I think that was wrong. I think that was I think that was a wrong color. No, maybe it's not. Well, I don't know. I feel like that's the same color, but it seems so bright. Anyways, last night I decided uh, that I was just gonna have like movie night. <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna lay on the couch and watch movies. And so I started looking for like something to watch. And on 
what was it, Amazon? I think it was, no, it was on Netflix. Netflix popped up. This, like, I look at what's, like, trending or what's popular. And it said this movie Glass was popular. And I was like, oh. So I started watching, like, excuse me, like, 10 minutes of it. And Dylan comes in. Dylan goes, oh, did you watch Split? And I said, what's Split? He was like, oh, it's what comes before this. And I, he was like, you got to watch Split. So I was like, stop. I'm going to go watch Split. So I go and watch that. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So then I watch Split. Then I watch Glass. And then I was like, were there more to this? I feel like you learn more about these other two people. But you don't really learn about this other guy. There's got to be another one. So, um, lo and behold, last night, as I was laying down to go to sleep, I started, like, Googling. Um, split and glass, are there more? And, they, and it said, yes, there is actually Unbreakable. There are three. Uh, there are three. So, um, that is why I'm coming here to you late tonight, is because I was watching Unbreakable. So that I could fully understand... Like how it all came about. Um, I will say Split was uh, very, uh, very creepy. It was very creepy. Very, very creepy. Basically, it's your story about a Milligan and his 24 personalities and his crimes. Um, it's the only way to take... Uh, oh, Sherbert Colors. Yeah, Sherbert Colors, kind of. Oh, Y'all, I'm yawning like repeatedly. Yeah, there's three. There's three. Have you watched The Accountant? I have not. Won't be long, girl. We'll be watching Virgin River. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm excited. What's up, Vicky? How's it going? All right, let me decide. Let me decide on the shades. Okay, definitely I think our gnome needs to have some shades. Okay, this is an ice cream gnome, but it's super summery. Let me, let me see if I can get, I really feel like I can make this one work. Let's do the shades, this color. We're going to do it. We're just going to commit to it. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can do little polka dots. <laughs> That's gonna be so much fun. Might be too much though, because we already have like confetti for sprinkles. Confetti. It's not confetti. They're sprinkles. I feel like this is like, as I'm coloring with it, I feel like it's getting lighter. Over this maybe it just needed to like be used and then we'll do like silver do you like silver let's do silver for the Be, they could be like aviators. This is not very metallic y. I feel like it's lost its, its glimmer. Very not metallic. I have to use the other end. This 
Just really hoping for some sort short sort of shimmer. Instead, I'm very disappointed. This has got some shimmer to it. Let's see if this will give us that shine. It's got a little reflection, but it's not very strong. I'm also getting out of lines. Oh, I do that every time. It's got a little shine when you like definitely angle it, but overall it's not very reflective. It's okay. cute so cute <laughs> oh my goodness all right let's do our little ice cream bowl all right we need to do our ice cream bowl we need to do it like do I want to do it like this color mm, not feeling that I'm feeling the, this orange Let's do that. Let's do the orange. For sure. Some of y'all are like probably shocked. Like you ain't seen me use this much color in a minute. That is fun right there. The spoon is going to have to be purple the purple spoon oh I think it needs to be a darker purple what color is this Mm, no, I think it needs to be this one. Yeah, let's do let's do this darker purple. There we go. I definitely think that's better. Let's do a little highlight. In like the middle of the spoon. There we go. <clears throat> Goodness. Okay. Let's put our little hand. Okay. Now we need to do our little ice creams. Oh, we've got this little, this little um detail right here. Let's do this. Um. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. Or do we want to do it this one? It seems more yellow. Oh, I'm gonna put this green over the top of it. The little hand goes on there. Oh, I just drop it. All right, let's stick it on there. I 
going to do a yellow rim. There we go. It's probably going to dry darker. And that's cute. Okay, we got the little... Okay, this is the pieces there. Okay, let's do our ice cream. So our ice cream... Okay, it's going to have... Um, so it's an ice cream scoop. Let's do... Let's do... Do okay. I got this. I got this. We're gonna do yellow on the top, and we're going to do it kind of. Colorful. Okay, so yellow. And then let's do the top of it. Let's do the top of it. I also, I'm gonna do this one. This like minty color. And then we will do the little sprinkles. My gosh. This just looks like I want to have some of this ice cream. <laughs> All right, then let's do. Pink sprinkles. There we go. All right, that's the top of our little ice cream. Uh, it's banana flavored. It's banana flavored. I don't know what the topping is, but it could just be vanilla. Um, let's do this one. Mint. Come mint chip. Let's do mint chip. Okay. So that one. Mint. I'm gonna do brown instead of black. Like a, usually it's like a darker chocolate. Okay, that for sure goes right there. All right, and then let's do this one. Let's do this a pink. Wait a second. I was also thinking like you could do, we could do like cotton candy, like a cotton candy ice cream. We don't really have any blue other than the shoes. And then let's do the so the cotton candy with I'm 
think it needs to be pink. Let's do pink. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, oh, excuse me. Something's going to stand out. Yellow. Yellow sprinkles. I don't know what y'all think about this. I think it is precious. I, I did get out of the lines just a little bit. All right, let me open, let me open this up and let's do, little I'm just adding a little you can see there you go and then let me do Just like right under that little drip. I'm gonna make it really cute. Little drip. <laughs> All right, let's do our mint. Just gonna go around the outer edge. It's like tipping. Um, let's do our yellow. I'm gonna use this one. Just a little. These markers do come in handy. I feel like this would have been so much better if it was zoomed in. Uh, so you guys could see like all the things. Let's do our orange. I'm gonna go right under. And right above. And then I'm just gonna go around the little circles, the little design. Just, just adding some character. Yo, I have one 
No, I have two yellow choices. Okay, I'm gonna glue these. I'm gonna start gluing these on. don't want to cut this. Y'all take, <laughs> some of y'all are probably just like me. You don't like put your lid on. You don't take care of your stuff. I'm so careless. And you'd think that I would learn, but I don't. It's so crusty. I mean, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not gonna give it anymore. I need a pair of pliers to like crack the glue. I just don't have any. I don't have any. I'm afraid if I keep doing this, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm not gonna do it any. I'm not gonna do it anymore. It is what it is. All right, we're gonna glue on our ice cream. to our bowl. Oh, I need to do another color on the inside because you're gonna be able to see that. No, let's not do this color. Let's do, oh man. Mm. Let's do, um, let's do purple in there. There's just a little bit that's showing. Also trying not to get it in the glue. There we go. So right in that opening, you're gonna be able to see a little bit. It's not a lot. But you can see like just a little bit like in that back. That's cute. Okay, so our little ice cream. So colorful. Let's do our hands. So cute, I think so too. All right, the hand is holding the bowl. It is dry. All right, so that's good. Let's do our spoon. Mm. 
Let's do this one. Basically, I'm just going around the top of the spoon. to do just like a little bit I think it's this one just like a little bit more highlight spoon. Her spoon looks like this. Cute. Alright. Let's glue our hand. That's a hand. Thank you, Pamela. I think that these turn out really cute. I really like just, I love the, the just because crafts. It's not that you really necessarily have like a super intended purpose. They're just fun and it's just because you want you want to have a good time. Like it's you just want to have fun. That is cute. All right, so we've got our spoon. Look at these. Our little ice cream and our spoon. It's just so fun. So colorful. All right, uh, I said I wanted to do polka dots on this one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. So I think what I wanna do is just do little dots along the top of the sunglasses. Like just a little trim, like just a little something fun. Just something fun. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the pattern just right all the way around. All right, the hat and the beard. We already did the beard. But what I think I can do with this beard is just drag along maybe just a little. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. And then we're going to do our little um, sprinkles. So our sprinkles need to be bright. So let's do this mint. Might have to go back over them. I'm gonna do it on a few of these. All right, so I did the mint. Let's do the yellow. This is so cute. Was this, I think this was, I think this was our hat, like our, our hat color. Go back over those. All right, we need to do, let's do this one over here too. All right, so we did the mint, the yellow. Let's do green. That green is not, what is happening? 
All right, let's do this green. Do a green here. And then let's do a blue. It's not very bright. All right, I think I might go back over this. Is these three colors. So I'm gonna hold those aside there. This is the hat color. I'll put these, right? No, I use this one. Not this one. Wait, yes, I did. Yeah, I don't even know what I used. I just, I have so many colors right here that I'm like, which one is which? Which one is which? Which one? Okay. Back to where I left off. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue because we can we can add more color as we. After we glue this on. Just gonna go, the glasses will cover this. Just added. A little something. Not that you're gonna see it, but. Okay, so let me, um, I'm gonna glue this little piece. This little sliver goes right here and it fits along the edge of the body. So you wanna glue it right into that spot. Just like so. And then I'm trying to figure out what goes, what goes there. The hand, the hand, right or no? No, what goes there? Let me pull up my picture. Y'all, I don't even know how I glued it together. Ice cream. see get a zoomed in picture let me glue the shoes on glue these
You gotta leave space to go in your stand. So glue them. And then this gets glued to the side. Okay, I see. The bottom of the bowl. So the bottom of the bowl goes there. Be careful, friends. Don't do what I just did. That's how fast it will set. Just in the time I was trying to grab my glasses. Okay, so my glasses glasses go so you kind of see where the little indentions are that's about where the glasses go so I'm gonna put the glasses on and I'm gonna remember my little piece that I previously had forgotten That goes there. Then we're gonna glue this on. Much better. Super cute. It just looks like fun. And then this one goes here for the spoon. Which I'm gonna glue it to this first. That way I know where it's going. So it glues onto the back like that. It's like a spacer. And then it glues up against the beard in that little spot right there. So just stick it on there. And then I'm going to glue the nose on. Okay, okay, let me, let me see about this one. Just gonna do like right at the top of the nose, the hand. The little feet, just like a little, little, like a little touch of sun. Just, just a little touch of sun. Oh my goodness. Let me come back over here to my little dots on my glasses. I want it to feel very fun. And then we can take 
can do just some little dots. I just feel like I want something colorful. So cute. Okay. The gnome, other than a stand, is done. All right, the stand, let's do our stand. Let's do our stand. Purple. Let's do it purple. Just gonna go with the color purple. So that's the bottom. This will be the top. Probably go around the edge. one. I'm just going to go around the outside. You can do the same thing with paint. Let's glue this. So just kind of center it on the stand like on the bottom part. I'm just gonna go around it. That's cute. All right, let's glue it on. I don't think there's a front or a back. Oh my gosh. That was a lot of glue. If you want to stick around for the ice cream stand, you can stick around for the ice cream stand. We're going to do it because it's got to match. It's got to go. We got to do it. All right. The ice cream stand um, is separate. You can get each of these separate. You can get them to go together. It's completely up to you. Some people might want the gnome. Some people might not. Some people might be like, I'm a no gnome type of person. But you really, really, really like the ice cream stand. Uh, this is going to be super cute. All right, this is your stand here. This is the base. This is your banner and your little pieces go over the top. So let's get that. And we're gonna try to use this as our inspiration. So we want it to kind of vibe together. All right, that goes there. The ice cream goes on the top. This is our, our little ice cream pieces stay inside. This pops out and your little ice cream cones go on your banner. So you got an ice cream cone here. You have an ice cream cone here. And then you have your Sense and your 25 goes on your banner. 
just like this. And I'm just using my fingernail to push these, these little pieces out because they're tabbed. So your 25 cents with your banner, your ice cream letters, we'll paint those on there. And they stick up above. So the word ice cream is gonna stick up above. There's not a back to it. And then these are your little ice cream toppings. And you can put them on however you want to. Because basically they're all the same. I think I might do the sprinkles in the middle. And then do that like so. All right, so we need this. We don't need this. Oh, we didn't do our cherry. Oh, let's do our little cherry. I'm gonna go ahead and do do this color instead of red. And then I'm gonna do a green stem. And I'll glue that on there in just a second. All right, so our ice cream stand, I think our ice cream stand should be blue. So let's do our ice cream stand blue. I think that's cute. All right, so we're gonna do the whole thing. It's blue gonna be a pop of color and like I said you can use paint markers whatever your heart desires hello Rosemary uh, when you paint things, it makes you think I've got to have that now. <laughs> I think I'm behind on my comments, y'all. The thing is, is people, people usually wait until I, I, I paint it so they can see it because some people don't have a vision of like, oh, I get where, what that can look like. And now I think I want that. Um, some people don't even care. They don't even care if I ever paint a single thing because they're just going to do their own thing anyways. And some people just don't like my style. Which, I mean, I understand. I think that's what I try to do is encourage everybody to embrace like what they enjoy. Do you want to go outside? Oh, I'm coming. I'll be right back. I'm gonna let her out. Hey, let's go outside. Come on. I left the door open for her and she's like, do I want to go out? Do I not want to go out? Do I want to go out? She's so in particular. You like my style? I like my style. I think it's, it varies. I'm not opposed to trying new things. I love to look at Pinterest and like other people's like, their like creativity. But I definitely think that we all have like our own way of doing things. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take this. Well, you were not there very long, ma'am. I feel like this is the same color. Why do I feel like that is the same color? Maybe not. It's a little brighter. Maybe. So my mother-in-law, she's back with my sister-in-law. And she has a dog named Chloe. Who has loads of energy. And Dixie, like, that's one of the rare dogs that she's ever liked. And so... Dixie likes to be up at night and sleep during the day. Imagine that. And so she thinks that the other dog's going to just play with her. It's not happening. All right, that is way more colorful. And I like that. All right, let's do the top part of our awning. Let's do it this green. She's got to go get her nails cut too. All right, let's do that green. And then let's do this orange. Oh, it's going to be so fun. It's going to be so super summery. Dixie, Dixie, hey, where you at? What are you doing? I don't know what you're in the pantry for, ma'am. What are you in the pantry for? What are you doing in there? Hmm? What? What? She's like in the pantry. What? I'm gonna do the yellow for the ice cream. I left the door open, you can go back outside. She is so weird. Does anyone else have like a dog that's like more active at night? I don't know if She's, she's very antisocial. You'd think she's a super social dog, but she's, she's really not. I feel like that is a bright yellow, but so is this one. I feel like... Let me check this one too. No, that's a no for sure. I think this is probably going to be the brightest yellow. All right. So we've got the blue. We've got the yellow on the orange. I think that's really fun. Let's do... Let's do a pink. Let's do... Um, let's do a pink banner. You're only gonna see the parts of the string. Is this the same one I used? Maybe it was, no, that's green. Mm, no, that one's not it. I think it's definitely this one. gonna go like that and then let's do 
So the string. Let's do each of these also pink. That same pink. Okay, that's cute. This is gonna be really cute. All right, let's put these on here. And then we need to think of a color. Maybe that turquoise, this one, like we did the glasses. And then we'll do our ice cream. Let's do that. Well, that's gonna be cute. So there's a lot of little pieces to paint, even though they're kind of, they're like smaller little, little um, things, but still really fun. Pink is cute. Okay, so now let's do our numbers. On that, oh, that's perfect. Some of these colors I probably would not have picked before. But I think that there's like the right project for the right colors. Cute, cute, cute. Look at this. So fun. All right, the cones. I don't want the cones to be like dark, so I'm going to do mm, not that color. Let's do let's try. Let's do this color. This is gonna go a lot faster because um, it's not as much detail, but it's still a little bit of detail. All right, so let's do the ice cream on the cones. Let's do them. Let's do. So I'm gonna say yellow. Let's do yellow. Way they'll pop on that pink. Dixie, no one's coming out to play with you. Okay. Um, what color did I use? This one? Okay, let's do the cones. Let's do this cone and this cone. And then let's do this little cup. Let's do the cup. What other color did I use? Purple. Let's do the cup purple. Oh, wrong purple. Wrong purple. There it is. I hear you. Okay, 
the little cups purple. Now let's do I need a mint. Let's do the mint again. Let's do the mint green for this one. That way our gnome kind of looks like it got it from the same ice cream stand. And we did this brown, I do believe. Maybe not. For the little bits. I think it might have been this other one. Could be wrong. All right, so this one's gonna go in the middle. And then let's do, let's do vanilla. We don't have a white ice cream. Let's, let's do a, let's do a simple vanilla. Everyone loves vanilla. Do a little vanilla dish. I feel like it's out of place with all the color. Oh, I need to do this. The rest of our cone. I'll add little sprinkles to it. Um, and then let's do, let's do, hmm. Let's do a yellow. And we'll do some sprinkles on it. Okay. This would have been cute with um, pink, pink ice cream. All right, we will do, let's dry this really quick. Okay, we're getting close. All right, for our yellow ice cream, let's do orange, little dots. Okay, so there's orange little bits on our, and then let's do, let's do pink. Sprinkles on our vanilla. Okay, that's cute. All right, that was exactly what it needed. All right, so let's do just a smidge. All right, on the little cones. I'm gonna glue these banners on and then I'm gonna um, go around the edges and give them some character. All right, so let's glue each one of these to the banner. I like to work upside down sometimes. All 
put a little string on me. Thanks you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's really late. Vanilla is your favorite. I did not get the air fixed. The blower motor is not, um, the blower motor is broken. It is, um, it's grinding, it's not working. So I've been leaving the, that door open because it's cooler at night. We have a fenced in backyard, so I mean, everything's okay, but I just stuck my hand right in the glue. Um, and then we have our, our AC upstairs is working. So we have a fan in the stairwell kind of blowing some of the cool air to the downstairs, but um, they're gonna, they had to order the part. It's just faulty. I'm going to go across the top of this banner just like that and along the top part of this. There we go. And then let's get this one. And let's go over the top just a little bit and then the bottom just character If you got this one, I really want to see what you do. I, I really need to see what you did because I think there is a hundred different ways to do this. And if you had like a bunch of like two of them, like both at the ice cream stand and had different, it would just be so much fun. So much fun. All right. So let's do the cone. The cone's going to go on our little banner, kind of like so. A little angled. The other cone's going to go angled on the other one, other side. There it is. And then our 25, two, five. 25 cents for ice cream. Yeah, that's not a thing. <laughs> that's definitely not a thing. For sure. But this is really cute. Look at our little banner. So fun. All right, let's do a little right across the top. Oh, goodness. To clean that up. Just a little white. And then let me get my pink. Where's the pink that I did use? This one. I don't think it's this one. Eh, maybe it is. 
I don't think so. I think it was the darker pink. Mm. I don't think it was this one. All right. And then on our little ice cream stand, on our little ice cream, I'm just gonna add a little to our, I'm gonna glue our little ice creams on. So vanilla, and banana or pineapple or pina colada oh no Yo, don't do what I just did you guys I just pushed so hard I snapped it right off. Push gentle. Push gentle. When you um, glue your pieces on, push so gently. Gosh, I can't believe I just did that. And glue it back on though. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Hello, Amy. So sad. I just snapped that sucker right off of there. I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna glue on my banner to the top oh my gosh don't be so extra <laughs> i push real i put i squeeze the glue so just just be gentle be gentle all right, let's pop out our ice cream. There we go. And then we're gonna glue on The ice cream is going to glue to the bottom part of where those letters are kind of etched on there. Let's start with the M. Let's see how they go on. Just glue them right in that little spot. So cute. <laughs> it's so adorable. I could not wait to do this one. A little ice cream stand. So cute. All right, let's go along our little awning. And 
And I'm just gonna create little scoops for our awning here. little dimension. Okay, we've got our little awning. Now let's do um I'm just going to do little lines in our blue. Maybe it'll look kind of planked. Keep my line straight. A little bit. I think I got glue on my white. Pretty sure I did. All right, let's go down. It's gonna dry um, lighter. <laughs> you think it looks cute? I think it looks so stinking adorable. All right, let's glue this. And it goes right on to the front. Oh, there's no lines on the blue. Um, I just kind of made them, I made them up. I just kind of made them up. And then my green little ice cream cone that I broke off is, is good. All right, now we need to do um, our stand. Let's do our stand. Mm. Purple, let's go with the purple. Because we don't have a lot of purple going on. Let's do, I think it was this purple. I think it was this purple. Thank you. I think it's so cute. You can kind of tell when they get to where you need to like add some moisture, reactivate them a little bit. markers are pretty fantastic. Oh, the bottom. I'm just going to go around the edge. So you're not going to see all of it. You're just going to see a little bit. And 
And I made these to kind of coordinate with each other. This would be a fun project for kids that are like a little older. Y'all, it's not too late. Let me get that, I think it was this one. Yeah. Let's go around the outside. I don't really think it was probably this one, but I'm gonna go with it. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, we're gonna glue this in. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. This is so adorable. All right, it's leaning. It's got a lot of stuff on the front, so it's wanting to lean forward. Thank you, Teresa. Thanks, you guys. So um, I put the link in the description for all the summer kits so you guys can go check them out. Um, there's also a tropical gnome and then like a little palm tree and a crab and like a little chair. That one's really cute. This is like the ice cream. So much fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How cute. I think that the ice cream needs a little white highlight. Let me do a little white highlight. Like right along the face of the letters. right through the center. It's gonna dry, but I think it's gonna give it a little pop. Some dimension. So, cute. so absolutely adorable. I need to go back over the little confetti. Conf I keep calling it confetti, it's sprinkles. It's little sprinkles. So here's our little ice cream stand. So you can get each one of these individually or you can get them together. It's just so much fun. <laughs> I love it. But the ice cream stand is really cute just by itself. Just cute little ice cream stand. Little gnome. So fun, just by himself. He got his ice cream from the ice cream stand, right? Right? I love it. That's why I wanted to do these to kind of match and, and like coordinate with each other. And then do you see how the stand, when I added the, the dark blue with the light blue and then the white, It's like a little vendor pop-up stand for like ice cream. Super cute. Oh, the cherry. The cherry. You're right. You're absolutely right. Gonna add that on top of it as ice cream. Okay, let me put that on here. Let me do that. I almost forgot. Gosh, where do I want to put it? I just put it like right on top. It's 
cute. Or you could like glue it to the top top where it like sits on the top. So good. So good. All right, this is our project. <laughs> this is our project. You want some now? Some ice cream? I like that the stands match. And I just realized that the color of the stands are not the same, but that's okay. It gives it its own character. I couldn't remember what I had used. Thank you, Edith. Thanks, you guys. So tomorrow, tomorrow I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, I have a new, I have a new door hanger that I need to do. So I want to put it on my door. I feel like I'm missing a marker. I think I'm missing a marker. I'll show you um, what it is. My iPad should be synced with my phone. It's like a big watermelon slice. It's a really fun design. And I think I have, I think I have the rope. I have rope somewhere. I think it's over there. Let me, I'm gonna put the lid on this. I don't know that's gonna make a difference. Maybe it will, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a marker. It's a green one. All right, let me, let me go show you. Oh gosh, it's in my car. It's gonna be dark out there. Turn the light on. There we go. So, um, I brought these home. Here it is. This is the, it's a watermelon slice. I'll just take it inside. Um, usually I leave everything in my car until I'm like, oh, I need to go get that in my car. I want to put it right here. So I want it to go like right here for summer. And as I said before, like, I still have the Easter eggs. I still have a little egg doormat. Yeah, so this is, like, double layered. Let me show you. Looks like this. See, it's got the little watermelon seeds and all these little pieces pop out. And then it's on this backer. So it's like double layered. Um, will you put the polyurethane on them to To sell it for the door? To seal it for the door? No. I don't seal any of my stuff. No. Um, I don't know where the Easter... <coughs> Let me show you. Clearly, this has been hanging on my door for God knows how long. However far back we did this. So this is the happy Easter. This is the bow. Okay. This is the greenery. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's, it needed to come off there. 
Um, this is what it looks like. Nothing is bubbling. Nothing is swelling. This is the back of it. And let me assure you, this sucker got rained on, I can't tell you how many times. I don't seal it, and I'm pretty sure we used markers. I'm pretty sure we used markers for this one. I'm almost certain. And I sanded it. I didn't seal it with nothing. When I tell you, like, we have to tell you, like, use caution. Use caution when, you know, hanging the stuff on your door outside. Like, we have to tell you that because it's, you know, it's a, listen, it could. But I have never sealed a single thing. Never clear coated it. Never sealed it. Never nothing. Nada. And never have a problem. So I don't like the shiny seal, so I just don't do it. But let me show you our project. How cute. How cute is our little ice cream? And then our little stand, little ice cream stand. See, I like that the white is like popping. I really like that. I probably could sand this and make it look a little bit better. But far away, it just looks cute. Look at them together. It's a great pair. All right, that's all I got. That's it. Cutest ice cream, yes. Uh, only thing I can see is the ribbon color a little lighter. There's not a lot of weathering. It's, our, our material is actually really durable. Um, I've had a lot of people say, oh, your stuff isn't made out of birch. Uh, it doesn't matter in my, like, to me, um, I don't, I don't feel like I have an issue with anything I've put outside. Yeah, that would be really cute. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I said, uh, happy crafting. Hope you have a great Wednesday. Um, I don't think I have anything else to share. Uh, I did uh, take pictures of all the new earrings. So those will be posting probably tomorrow. And um, that's all. Uh, oh, and the new stuff. So, all right, you guys, be blessed. I got to go get the super glue off my hands now. It's going to take forever. But y'all be blessed, and I'll see you guys next time.